a new location and it's just it's bigger and better than it has been before. The South Georgia State Fair is here. This year, the fair is not only taking on a new location, but a brand new name. The fair formerly known as Coastal Empire Fair is now the South Georgia State Fair with more land than ever. We have 320 acres of fairgrounds uh, that we've been working on for two years now. Um, so we've got about 30 acres developed, um, brand new site, brand new LED lights. Um, you know, it's just an all new location for us. The week-long event will be complete with endless entertainment options met with COVID-friendly protocols. It's our 71st uh, annual fair. Uh, obviously, we've skipped uh, a little bit here because of COVID. And, uh, you know, we're coming back at a brand new location. It's a secure place where you'll still come through the metal detectors and come into the ticket booths. Um, you know, obviously, we're observing the social distancing and the hand washing stations. For a third year in a row, nonprofit organization 4-H is joining the fun. 4-H is a youth developed program that has been around since 1904. Um, in Georgia, we go into the schools and do uh, science curriculums and we enhance the science portion of the kids in fifth and fourth grade. This year, 4-H will host a competition for arts and crafts and photography. Our families look forward to this. As you see today, I have parents involved, youth involved, and they come out and they set up their exhibits. And this way they have their say on what they, the, how they would like it. We actually um, enjoy this. And of course, we can't forget about the food. Lots of different food from funnel cakes to cotton candy to big old long hot dogs. Uh, to pizzas, to just all kinds of fair food that you can think of, um, you know, all kinds of exciting rides. Um, you know, it's all in one place and it's good family fun. We've got uh, the 4-H club here. We've also got the Future Farmers of America coming to show their cattle the second Saturday. Um, so there's just a lot of different good wholesome events coming on. So you need to come out and see us. Reporting in Savannah, Kaylin Jackson, WSAV Now.